Hey guys, welcome to another Mac Apps video for you. Today, I've got a little application that I want to review and tell you guys about. It's a very fun application called Mixtab. It's a news reader or a news feed uh, application. It's free in the Mac App Store. It's a lot of fun uh, if you're interested. Uh, and it's kind of like an RSS uh, reader uh, you can go through. And it has, if you've ever seen Flipboard on the iPad, it's not as graphically uh, fun as the Flipboard. It doesn't have all the animation effects that Flipboard does for the iPad. But then again, this is for the Mac uh, computer, the OS X platform, so obviously it's not going to have that kind of stuff. But let me give you a brief rundown. This is the uh, home page here, and I'm going to make it a little bigger. Uh, you can actually add tabs to this. Now let me tell you what we're looking at here. So here's one for cooking, fashion, finance, movies, photography, tech news, travel. Uh, I'm pretty big into tech news uh, and the tech community, so I'm going to click on the tech news here. And it's going to go through a lot of the big tech stories uh, for the day. So here you got one kitchen apps. It's got an application review for a kitchen app, Riverford. Um, and then actually up here, you're looking at all stories. Uh, you can go up here and just search for Apple stories. You can search for iPhone stories, Motorola stories, and it's very quick. It moves very fast. Uh, and over here, you still got your other main tabs as far as cooking, fashion, finances, and whatnot. So let's say I want to read one of these. Let's go to the iPhone uh, and Mountain Lion may be able to scan a barcode, install an app. So let's click on that one. That sounds interesting. And it pops up in a uh, very easy to read uh, page format here. And you can just go to the next tab here to look at the next one. But I'm going to go stay on that one there. Uh, you can actually tweet it. So you can tweet it here from straight from the application. You can email it to a friend if you think they would be interested in it. Uh, or you can click on View Original and it'll take you to the website. Uh, so now I'm on tuaw.com, which is a Mac website. And then once I get done reading it here and I've finished, I can go back to Mixtab and I'm back right back where I started in the application. So let's say you do not like, um, well, not that you don't like, but you want to add one. You want to add a, 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 a different uh, category here. You can go to Create Tab uh, and go to Tab Name. So let's say we want to do one here for sports. Uh, let's go all about sports in the description here. Let's make it a public tab if you want uh, people to be able to view this. And a private tab if only you can see this tab. So let's make this public. You can upload an avatar, a picture of your favorite sports player. Uh, and then once we're done there, we can save it. Uh, please add at least one topic or RSS feed. Oh, sorry. So once you've done that and you've created it, you want it to be a sports one. Uh, so then you're going to add sports as a topic. So sports is the topic. And you select save. Oh, sorry, this name has already been taken. Uh, okay. So what that means is there's already one um, called sports. So you can add one and you can create different tabs for just like a. if you're an Atlanta Hawks fan, you can put Atlanta Hawks in there and it'll just be about the Atlanta Hawks. So that's how you do that. Now here's the tab gallery. Gallery. And you can add them uh, about that. So uh, here's the popular ones here, world, cars, fashion, tech, uh, photography, movies. Uh, and you can hit the arrow here to go to the next one. So you got one for golf. Uh, you got one for the U.S. News, all things Mac. Uh, and if you want to search for them, so let's say I want to search for the sports tab. Um, and here it is. Here's some sports ones here. And when you make yours public, like I just showed you, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show up here for people to actually add on their mix tab. So Anyways, uh, let's go back here, and let's say I want to add music nudes here to my uh, homepage. I will just select the tab subscribe, and it'll say subscribed, and then when you go to your homepage, it will load, and boom, there it is, music nudes. Uh, this is a very fun application. Uh, I'm going into the photography here, uh, and it'll show you so many neat things. So if you're into photography, it'll go over here and you can actually get all the tutorials that come through, all the different write-ups of all the new cameras that are coming out. And you can actually go into tab settings and you can actually adjust what you want to see and what you do not want to see. Uh, so here it's got a collection of photography websites. You can edit this tab up here and you can actually add websites you want to see uh, in this one here. But I'm not going to do that. And you can actually go up here to the main settings and you can apply new themes to this. So let's say I want a blue theme. Boom, the background will be blue. Uh, let's say I want this nice snowy mountain. That'll be there. But I want to change it back to the wood theme because I like it. Preferences. Open links to other websites in Mixtab in your web browser. I'm keeping mine in Mixtab. Account info. There's MacAppsReviews at gmail.com. You do need to provide them with an email address and password to sign up and support. That's if you want to follow them on Twitter, email them a uh, bug that they may be in the application. 
So this, my friends, is Mixed Tab. Uh, there's the uh, icon down there, the little M circle with uh, four different colors there around it. And uh, it's a very fun newsreader app. And uh, you can actually get that in the Mac App Store, as you see here. Uh, it is absolutely free. There are no charges for this application. And uh, you can see the reviews there for it, as well as some pictures. And uh, it's got a lot of good ratings down there. But guys, go pick it up if you're interested in a newsreader that will help you out uh, as far as keeping all of your stories in line. So anyways, guys, this has been another Mac Apps video for you. Have a great and wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Thank you.